At this time, we would like everyone to please stand and direct their attention to the flag of the United States of America as members of our choir sing the national anthem. Led by Mr. Searcy, this is our Thornridge Choir.
would like to take a moment of silence and respect and honor for Devin Barksdale. Thank you. Graduations are celebrations. It's an exciting day, so now let's celebrate. The definition of commencement is a beginning or a start. This is not the end of your education. It is only the beginning. As your principal, I want the class of 2023 to have many more graduations in the next few years. I want the graduates at this, at this time right now to stand up, stand. Please look to your people and give them all a huge thank you for all that they've done for you to help get you here. Thank you, graduates. We're joined by friends, family, parents, grandparents. All of you graduates from BC, thank you. All of these folks have aided you along this route. You have achieved the first rung on the ladder of success. You have completed your high school education. Malcolm X said education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. All this year and throughout your career, you have worked to get into college, military, focus on a career. We want you all to achieve something great and be a successful member of society. When discussing secrets to success, I always say to be nice. I say people will go out of their way to help nice people. I found that to be true in my 46 years. Martin Luther King Jr. said, intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education. Your diploma says that you are educated. Your success in life is often a reflection of your character. In the next few months, you're going to make a huge change in life. You're going to be leaving the comfort of your home that you grew up in. You'll be leaving your friends, family, and the city that you know. I want to tell you, it's natural to be afraid. I will tell you I'm scared to leave as well. But the adventure was worth it. Don't be afraid of change and embrace it. I will close out with a quote from C.S. Lewis. There are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind. And that is something that I truly believe. Good luck, you class of 2023, as you all venture out into this great big world. You will get knocked down in the pursuit of success. Just get up one more time, and then you get knocked down, and you will win. Thank you. Colby Chapman is a lifelong resident of the Harvard community. Upon graduating from Thornridge High School in 2005, Colby transitioned into her post-secondary pathway at the best university in the world, Southern Illinois University at Carbondale, my alma mater. Colby earned her Bachelor of Arts in Criminology and Forensic Science in 2009 and a Master's of Science in Education and Program Leadership with Honors in 2011. Colby is a dedicated member of the illustrious sorority, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Colby's passion for youth was expanded beyond the classroom, and in 2014, she applied to the Loyola University Business Law Clinic to create a nonprofit organization. Penny Up was birthed to educate, inspire, equip, and financially aid youth from adverse backgrounds. Since creation, Penny Up has serviced over 500 youth and collaborated with more than 100 community-based organizations. Penny Up's motto is, change the world, it just makes sense. Colby has received various merit awards and been interviewed by multiple media outlets to shed light on her altruistic excellence in communities. Recently, Colby was elected as Alderman of the City of Harvey's second ward. Colby is the first woman and first person of color to hold this position since Harvey was incorporated in 1891. Colby is determined to cure the mayhem that plagues the residents of the second ward of Harvey and improve the quality of life for everyone overall in Harvey, Illinois. Colby Chapman is a 21st century visionary and strategic leader 
who has the ability to amass support from the community, civic, and business leaders to make changes in our world. Colby's message is to grow actively provoke your passion and ensure you are leaving an everlasting impact imprint on the world. It is my honor to introduce our 2023 guest speaker, Ms. Colby Chapman. I wouldn't be the one 
around them. Shout out to my mom and dad. Class of 2023, you are your ancestors' wildest dreams. And it is your social responsibility to the world to be great. As I look into the sea of melanin and excellence, I see the next leaders that will shape our country's future. You spent 40 years, 208 weeks, 1,460 days for this moment. Put this at the top. Now give yourself grace because it's a big world out there. But remember, never to play small. Don't, don't let the number of likes, love, and laughter on the gram, Facebook, or TikTok be your downfall because comparison is the thief of joy. Remember, what is right is not always popular, and what is popular is not always right. Your instinct and discernment tells you much. Did you know silent and listen spell the same word? So open your ears twice as much as you open your mouth, for in this you seek wise counsel. As mentioned earlier, what makes you unique? Well, I'll tell you, for starters, you are created in his image, so you're already a one. In 2019, I ran for second world alderman in the city of Harvey. I lost by a mere 82 votes. But like my former representative Maxine Ward famously stated, I reclaimed my time and didn't sit in the shadows of somber and disappointment. Today, in 2023, I stand before you, as earlier mentioned, as the first woman and person of color elected as second world alder woman since the city of Harvey's incorporation in 1891. Don't tell me about how big the battle is, but rather let's discuss how you'll win the war. It's okay to fail a bit, but take big professional chances. Dream big, but dreams without goals ultimately fuel big disappointments. Nelson Mandela once famously stated, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for life that is less than the one you are capable of living. So class of 2023, get ready to do your big one. Let's go.
give another round of applause to the choir. It was fantastic. Also, give another round of applause to our guest speaker, Ms. Colby Chapman. That was a great, stirring speech. Way to go, Chapman. I would now like to introduce the class of 
to present the George McNally Award for Outstanding Excellence in Academics and Athletics. Uh, congratulations, class of 2023. Uh, the George S. McNeely Sportsmanship Award honors Mr. McNeely's over his 30 years of service with Thor Township High School District 205 Board of Education. It is, it is awarded to the graduate who has lose the uh, Thor Ridge Falcon spirit by demonstrating all the qualities of character and athletic competition, and most importantly, in their everyday life. Wade Sims has been highly competitive, has been a highly competitive athlete over his uh, Thorn Ridge High School career. As a member of Thorn Ridge High School basketball team, Wade has led his team on and off the court with his characteristics and demonstrating great attitude, perseverance, dedication, and commitment. Wade has averaged over 22 points per game and totaling over 799 points made and the number 22 press match state leaderboard player by points per game. Congratulations, Wade. His father proudly states that Wade is an outstanding person all the way around and is very proud of him. Congratulations to the 23, 23 winner of the George S. McNeely Sportsmanship Award, Wade Sim. Congratulations. Please welcome back, again, District 205 board member, Mr. Owens, to present the prestigious Henry Vanderberg Award based on academics, character, and citizenship. Hi, right, welcome back. Uh, the, the Henry Vanderberg Award is the name taken to serve on the Thornton Township High School 205 Board of Education. Like some of us ourselves, in 1984, the Board of Education authorized the creation of a student award in honor of Henry Vandenberg. Henry Vandenberg was a retired board member who committed 30 years of service to Thornton Township District 205. The criteria for this selection of the Henry Vandenberg Award includes academic excellence, character, leadership, service, in and outside the school, seniors, Seniors, 10% of the graduating class are the only students eligible for this award. The honor is bestowed each year upon the graduate, the graduate who most characterizes and demonstrates excellence in academics, extracurricular, community service, character, citizenship, and other qualities that make an outstanding young adult. This year, recipient is a member of the school board, the school board of education, her Thorn Ridge High School, Board sponsors describe her as one of the most diligent and dedicated students she has had the honor of knowing. This student always rises to the challenges and strives to do her very best in everything she does while considering the needs of others and placing them before her own. This young lady's unwavering dedication to being a student leader is truly paid off. We are confident that she will continue to make us proud in the future. Congratulations to the 2023 Henry Vanderbilt Award recipient, Shania Turnkey.
this time, District 205 Assistant Superintendent, Mr. Brett Fickens, who will announce the Lindell Beckham Award for Outstanding Excellence in Fine Arts. The Lindell S. Beckham Fine Arts Award honors Mrs. Beckham for her 25 years of service on the Thorne Township High School District 205 School Board of Education. It is awarded to the graduate who has demonstrated excellence in the area of fine arts, which includes instrumental and vocal music, visual arts, speech, media studies, theater, and foreign language. The recipient of this award has exhibited excellence in fine arts by showing her commitment and dedication to Thorne Ridge High School activities. This student is a member of the speech club, Spanish club, and the dance team. We have heard her voice for the past year as co-host of our morning announcements. Her teachers state that she always wants to be part of every after-school activity and wants to be on every stage. She is vivacious, magnetic, spirited, and always animated. We are proud to honor this year's 2023 recipient of the Linda L. Speckham Fine Arts Award to an outstanding student, Ms. Christiana Walker. Please welcome Thorne Ridge Counselor Mrs. Annette Johnson to present the 2023 Students Against Violence Everywhere, aka SAVE Scholarship. Electrical Engineering graduate of Northern Illinois University. 
Drew had a passion for fighting through barriers in the pursuit of his goals. Regardless of how difficult the mountain climb was, Drew only saw the challenge, only saw the challenge as an opportunity to build strength and develop character. Right now, you have the ability to make decisions to be great, to be the greatest version of yourselves. No one can take that from you. If you have a goal, don't let anyone take that from you. It's yours. Protect it. More, more trainings, more work. Don't stop. Keep going. These were some of Drew's models. So today, the family of Andrew Glenn Lawrence feels honored to stand in his name with that same spirit and award. This to award this prestigious engineering scholarship to a future engineer. One senior from each of the three district school five high schools planning to major in engineering in a two or four year college or university and possessing a 2.5 GPA or higher is eligible to receive a $1,000 scholarship. Preference is given to students without a full scholarship. At this time, I would ask that Jamar Jabari Moore please make his way to the stage to be recognized as the recipient to receive the Andrew Glenn Lawrence Memorial Academic Scholarship. He exemplifies all the characteristics that the Lawrence family displayed in Drew. Throughout Jabari's four years at Thornbridge High School, he has shown excellence in all academics, athletics, and activities that he participated in. With an enthusiasm, I'm proud and honored to present the class of 2023 recipient of the Andrew Glenn Lawrence Engineering Scholarship again, Jabari, Jabari Moore. Congratulations. Sometimes timing just works. I would now like to introduce the number one graduate of class of 2023, the valedictorian, Jabari Moore. Good evening, faculty, administrators, staff, family, and most importantly, I graduated class of 2023. My name is Jabari Moore and I stand before you as valedictorian. First and foremost, I would like to have another moment of silence for one of our classmates. One of my best friends who is more like a brother to me, Devin Barksdale, who was tragically taken from us last month and unfortunately couldn't accomplish his goals and physically walk across the stage with us. I would like to thank the parents, families, friends, educators, and staff who have all worked hard to get us to this moment, who have sacrificed their time not only to educate us, but to become the men and women of our future. A special thanks to my mother and father, and above all, I'd like to thank God for leading us and overcoming and covering us all for this moment, which a lot of people don't get to see. This bittersweet day is finally here. We have finally made it after what may not have felt like a long four years, but in actuality it was. From overcoming many obstacles from the COVID shutdown during our freshman year and becoming adjusted to what the new normal was that we call now we learned it. We have overcome it all. I feel as if we are a special graduating class that can overcome any obstacle that may be thrown at us. Being able to walk across this stage is a huge accomplishment that makes me feel realized. If you look around, you see many other faces that started that started with us our freshman year aren't here. Whether it was through tragic loss, which in the last few weeks many of us has impacted many of us, or from simply those not being eligible to do so. So with us just being here, it says a lot. So now that we are in our high school, we must look ahead to the future. A new life of adults, or what our parents might say as the real world. It is time for us to step up to the plate and show that we are worthy. To the graduates, enjoy these last moments being together as a class, as they are sure to be coming to an end. Cherish your time and life together. Life is short and time is for nobody. We are all truly on the full of life. And whatever you guys want life at a time to do so, the sky is the limit for us. I wish the class of 2023 the best luck in the future, whether it's in college, trade school, the military, or even the workforce. I wish you all prevail and live life to the fullest and don't let anybody tell you what you can't do. Defy all eyes and understand the journey won't be easy. But hey, with the class of 2023, nothing is impossible for us. Thank you and wish the best luck to you all again.
Here's academic top 10 students making their way to the stage. Top 10, please stand and let's be escorted by the honor guard. As they make their way to the stage, I would like to take this moment to recognize and congratulate all the parents and family members who certainly contribute to your child's success these past four years. Graduates, please give your parents, family, and friends a great big round of applause. And where would we be, or where would you all be, without the wonderful and dedicated staff members? Please give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present the Thornbridge High School Academic Top 10 Graduates for the Class of 2023. At this time, we would like to recognize the Class of 2023's Academic Top 10. I will be assisted by District 205 Board Member, Board Secretary, Ms. Vassalumi, Board Member, Mr. Brown, Board Member, Mr. Stafford Owens, Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction, Mr. Brad Biggis, and Principal of Thornridge High School, Dr. Moore. For number one as our valedictorian, Jabari Moore. Jabari has a 4.9622 GPA and plans to go to the Morehouse, Morehouse College in the fall. Number two, our salutatory Essence Robinson. with a GPA of 4.9057 and plans to going to Illinois State University. Number three, Marie Richner. With a GPA of 4.8846, plans to going to North Carolina Agricultural Technical University, also known as North Carolina A&T. Number four, we have Colin Perry with a GPA of 4.8800 and plans to go to the University of Illinois Number five, we have Anu Olawapo, Anu Wapo, Te Olawapo, Plans, I'm sorry, her GPA is a 4.7037, and plans are going to the University of Illinois at Chicago. Number six, we have Nevaeh Brown. And plans are going to the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Number seven, we have Jay Johnson with a GPA of four point six five three eight, and plans are going to Western Michigan University. With a GPA 
GPA of 4.38289 and plans to go to St. Louis University in the fall. Congratulations, top 10. I turn it back over to Dr. Moore. Can we get another round of applause for our top ten? At this time, I ask District 205 Assistant Superintendent, Mr. Brett Fickus, to step forward and read the proclamation that will certify our graduation. Class of 2023, please stand. On, on behalf of the members of the Board of Education of Oregon Township High School, District 205, the District 205 Administration and the Administration and Faculty of the Florida High School, I certify that the class of 2023 has met the requirements for graduation set forth by the District Board of Education. Additionally, I hereby certify that these graduates have also met the requirements for graduation as set forth by the Illinois School Code, the Illinois State Board of Education, and the North Central Association of Colleges and Schools. To all those who have assembled here this afternoon to witness this great achievement, let it be known that the class of 2023 is hereby declared eligible to receive their diplomas, signifying graduation from Fort Ridge High School. Congratulations, graduates. You may sit down. We will now Prepare to distribute the diplomas. As mentioned at the beginning of the ceremony, we ask that you are all respectful of all graduates as their names are being called so that every family may hear the students' name. So without further ado, let's begin. Now, 
Nasir Brodnick. Damian Brown. Montrell Brown. Craig Bryant Jr. Jeff Bryant. Frederick Burnett. Ricardo Carvalho. Joshua Carter. Audrey Kraft. Asia Kiritu. Brianna Davis. Layla Dillon. Ahmad Dissou Smith. Faith Dixon. Antoine Dudley Jr. Brianna Evans. Brianna! Devon Everton. Sean Ford. Tawan Frazier. Abrielle Gibbons. Robert Hall. Samaya Harden. Aaliyah Hutchins. Ariel Johnson. Justin King. Taquan Mathis. Cecilia McLennan. Alicia Miller. Dion Money. Stanley Moore. Marshawn Morris. Ellen Negron Hilliard. Godwin Azarico. Jeremy Patterson. Jeremiah Pickett. Hope Seaver Preston. Fontaine Reed. Kalia Russell. Makaya Russell. Antoine Simpson. Caden Smith. Sedana Spence. Christiana Walker. Dierion Wayne. Joshua Wood. Dwight Woodson.
hold, Stefan Ding. Nasir Davenport. Shantiara Dawkins. Selena Enriquez Arroyo. Tyree Faulkner. Aaron Freeman, <laughs> Tamia Gamble, <laughs> Zaria Geralds, <laughs> Jonathan Gregorio Mendez, Renar Yes. Dave. 
Asia, Robinson. Elijah, Rockamore.
Yeah, right. 